Good morning, second years. This is week four of the, the lockdown and lessons from home. Uh, for the last few weeks, we've been working through colour theory, and then for the last two weeks, we've been doing two-point perspective sketching. So for the next couple of weeks, what we're going to be looking at is a different form of sketching, a different type of pictorial sketching called isometric sketching. So I'm going to be doing a demonstration for you to have a little go at and then um, after I've done the demonstration you can have a go at home and send your work to your, your teacher. What I'm actually going to be looking to try and do is a, an isometric uh, sketch of this block here. Okay, So this block basically consists of, it was originally it would have been a rectangle on this side before this bit was cut out. Looking on this side, you can see how narrow it is, and the same looking down on top of it. So we're going to try and do a pictorial view that looks something like that as you're sketching it. Okay. Now, unlike perspective, the sizes don't get smaller, they don't go to a vanishing point. All the lines are parallel and isometric, and that's the thing to think about in this. So, I'm going to start with, I'm going to use a ruler. You can do this freehand if you wish, but I'm going to use a ruler. I'm going to start with a vertical line. And again, this is almost like, like in perspective, the leading edge, the edge which is closest to you of your block. So I'm going to choose, not quite as tall as that, I'm going to do it maybe something about that height there to there. Okay, now if you remember in perspective, we then took them back to the vanishing point. Now what we're going to do in isometric view is we're going to take the lines from the bottom, but they're going to go at approximately 30 degrees. Now that's really hard to do without a protractor. So as a wee technique, what I'm going to do here is I've drawn a line horizontal, and if I put a line which would be in the middle right between those these two lines, that would be 45 degrees, so I wouldn't be slightly less than that. And the same in this side, if I did it right in the middle, it would be 45, so I want it slightly less. So from this point, I'm going to, not quite 45, half of that would be 22 and a half, so somewhere about there, I'm just going to draw a line. And that is my 30 degree line. And then I'm going to do the same going the other way, so again, 45, a little less than that, going back. So that's the starting point always of an isometric view. You start with the vertical line. You start with your line going this way, which is going to be for the length of my, my cube, and a line going this way at 30 degrees, which is going to be the depth of my cube. So, now I decide upon uh, some sizes. So if I think back to my shape, my object's quite long, but it's quite narrow. So, depth-wise, this way, I'm going to do it about that point there, and we add in another vertical line. So that's the width of my block. And then the length, which was much longer, I'm, again, I'm keeping it parallel to this line, so it's vertically straight up and down. I'd take a line somewhere up here. Okay, so now I'm going to decide upon the height of my object. So this is where I decided it's going to be up here. And now, still sticking to parallel lines. So parallel to this line at 30 degrees at the bottom, going through that line. So I'm going to use my ruler, and I'm going to slide it up until I reach that point, and I'm going to draw in another line like that. And I'm going to do the same going the other way, so put my ruler so that it runs along the line, and I'm going to slide it along until it is on the end of that line, going at the same angle as the base. So that's me get the two sides done. Now what I'm going to do is complete the top, so there's going to be a line here, which is parallel to these two, and there's a line here, which is parallel to these two. So I'll start with the, the longer line. So put my ruler onto that line so I can get the right angle, slide it along until it's on the end of the line here. So there's almost the top completed. Last line, put my ruler this angle here, slide it along until I reach the end of the line, and uh, put that one in. So what I've got is an isometric, what I call an isometric crate, and I've drawn it at approximately 30 degrees. If we were in the, the classroom, we would draw this accurately um, on our drawing board using set squares at 30 degrees, but we're only sketching for the moment. So now thinking back to this block, 
if you look at the block, the the cutout we're going to add to it now. Now the cutout takes place halfway along the length and halfway down on the depth. So that makes it quite easy to be able to divide this one up. So approximately halfway along, I'm going to draw another vertical line. Like so. And approximately halfway up, so if I take approximately halfway up, which is there, I draw another line going back at 30 degrees. So let me just move my paper there a second. Let's put it back in. So I'll slide my ruler up till I'm there. Okay, so I've divided that up. Maybe that line's a little bit high, but that's okay. So now I'm going to go around the bit that I want to stand out, the bit that looks like the finished cube. So I'm just going to go over some of these lines a little darker so that they stand out. And you can see the front face will now be totally finished. So there is the front face of my object. Now to get the depth, what I'm looking to do is take a series of lines going back at 30 degrees from each of the corners. So each of the points, so I've already got that one done from this one, from this one, and from this one I'm going to take a series of lines back. So get my ruler set up at the right angle, slide it up to the first point, project it across. Take it across to the next one, project it across. Next one, project it across. Okay, so I'm going to darken in some of the points, this bit here. And here I can darken in to make it stand out. So I've got the bit here at the bottom. And I can also do the bit at the top to make it stand out. And then all I need is one or two additional lines to finish off this shape. So, I'm whatever it does at the front here. So from there it came along and then went down. So then at the back it goes along, but I've not came down yet. So I'm going to draw a vertical line there. So if I bring that straight down, and you can now see we've got this face, and then at the front it then joins on to this point here. So from there I'm going to draw a line, line to join on to that point here. So if I just use my pencil to add that in. And there you go, we've taken the little bit, little square out of my crate, and now turned it into a block that looks like that. That it isn't too far off what I had here at the front. Okay, so that is going to be your lesson today of trying to draw an isometric crate. And then once you've drawn the isometric crate, try drawing this shape within it. So remembering that the block that's going to cut out is halfway along, draw a vertical line, halfway down, draw a horizontal line, and you can draw the rest in. Okay, good luck with that, and I hope you're successful.